Just me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my kicks. What is going on, YouTube? It's your favorite YouTuber, me and my kicks. And while driving to Atlanta for SneakerCon, I had to go to the bathroom and I was a little bit hungry, man. So I had to make a little pit stop. And on my way, I came across the Opry. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Mills Mall is located in Tennessee. So since I'm there, I might as well go ahead and blog it, man. So as always, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up, comment down below what's the best shoe or the best part of this video that you've seen. And we can chop it up in the comment section. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button, it takes nothing but a couple of seconds and you'll be notified of when I drop future videos. Now enough talking, let's get into the vlog. They got the uh, picks of the week. And if these are the picks of the week, I'm about to be disappointed in this uh, Nike area, man. You didn't see nothing over there, but I got the new Kobe's that came out. Okay, got the Trophy Room 17s. Got some, uh, got the International 12s. It's pretty decent. Got some Vapor Max and the 10s. Okay, got a little heat on this uh, suggested wall. Let me check out and see what these uh, 17s talking about. Got the Crimson LeBron 15s for 129. Not bad. I don't think no extra percentage is off on them, but if if it was like friends and family with the 30% off, you'd get these for like 90 bucks. That's not bad. Got some, got some 15 lows for 110. Soldier 11s for 99. Got some PG 2.5s. These hit outlets already. First time seeing that. PG 2s. And what else they got? Got some ones right here. The phone positive joints. They got these uh, X14s. They just needed to have better colors, but I'm not. A, I'm. I'm. I'm a pretty big fan of the silhouette. Um, Air Max One Ultra 2.0s. Eh, they okay. These Air Max Ones though, with the gum bottom, all white with the gum bottom for 90 bucks. That's not bad. If I lived here, I'd have definitely caught these on the friends and family sale. Got some black and silver Air Max Ones and some Air Max 2017s. I didn't even know they still even made these shoes. Like. These are so trash. This is something a little different. Air Force 2 Low with the jean upper. I ain't never seen this one before. I'm not really a fan of Air Force 2s. I'm more of an Air Force 1 guy. Hold on, it can say Nike SB. So I'm guessing it's a collab between SB and Air Force 2s. That's pretty decent. For 70 bucks, it's not bad at all. Got, got the Navy and Gold, Kyrie, Force, and also got these like gray with the multicolor bottom, Kyrie Force. Nothing really special. 100 bucks for them. I need them lower than that. Apparently, these are the only sizes they got like available in the shoes. They ain't got none in the back. Talk about false advertisement, man. But this is eight and a half right here, so I can't get this boy at all. Over here in the, in the hash section, they ain't got no extra percentage off, which is pretty disappointing. As far as like steals they got here, they got a couple old Kobe ADs and Kyrie's. But as far as like any heat, I don't see anything yet. I'll update you if I do find anything. They had absolutely nothing in that uh, hash area. But this is my first time seeing these in person. These are uh, KD 10s. And this like material right here is made after um, foam posit. Like this shoe is supposed to like mimic the Nike Air foam posits, the uh, classic blue joints. My first time seeing them up close. They okay. Uh, I'm, not really, I'm not really a fan of this colorway on them. Since we in Tennessee, you know they got good uh, Titans gear. Also a little bit of uh, University of Kentucky. But yeah, they got crazy Titan gear here. They having a decent year this year, but I'm not really a Titan fan. This place a little bit slight, ain't really too crazy. As far as like the level I give it, as far as like heat goes, I probably put it on the level of on the Oak Brook Nike location in Illinois. Like not nothing too hot. You might come up across something, but nothing too crazy, nothing too crazy. Oh, okay, okay, I ain't never seen this before. They got an aquarium like restaurant in this mall. That's crazy. Never seen that before. Nice little addition to a mall. They also got the Madame Toussaint um, Wax Museum up in here. 
I never been to one of these places, but I ain't got time to walk in there now, but I'm gonna check it out one day. Damn, they even got an escape game. Like, this mall got it all. Especially if you want to take somebody out on a date, you could definitely take them here. They got everything. Bro, they got a movie theater right there, and they got a Dave and Buster's. Like, there's no way people in Tennessee shouldn't be taking people on all the dates. Like, this place should be packed. Like, they got everything for a first date night. I can't lie, this is a decent little mall, man. Clean, got a lot of activities, pretty decent. They go, they go a weird colorway and the Nike Air Max Plus Vapor Max. Black, gray, and green. I ain't never seen this colorway before. Not bad. Nice little, little patriotic Air Max 97. Uh, I don't know why there's yellow in here. It kind of like throw off the shoe, but it's not bad overall. They go these NBA, NBA theme Air Force Ones. This the Spurs right here. I want to say this the Nets. Maybe the Pacers. Yeah, probably the Pacers. Got the Knicks and I'm gonna say Washington Wizards. And oh, those are the Bulls. I forgot what NBA team like goes to which colorway because they don't really put it on the shoe, but yeah, they definitely made these for the NBA team. Not bad. I've never seen this, this uh, model before. These look like um, temper runs, but apparently they young 96s. Never seen this one, but this is real trash. Like these definitely going on sale. This colorway too. I bought these on adidas.com. These was like 30 bucks. These mugs are so hard to put on, G. Like, it's just ridiculous. Like, I had a whole size up and I couldn't even get my foot in this. Like, I don't know what's wrong with this, like, material they use on this shoe. But I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put out the review though. But yeah, this, this shoe is trash. Like, legit trash. But if you got a narrow foot, you can wear this shoe no problem. But if you got a fat foot, don't even think about buying a D Rup, man. These not bad, bad for Air Max 95s. I like that Just Do It on the side. It's pretty decent. And I like that uh, little infrared type colorway they put on this joint. Not bad at all. This Deion San Sanders, Mitchell and Ness joint, so cold. Man, I gotta get me this one day, but not this colorway because this boy get dirty too easily. I need like the black one, but this is super cold to me, man. What is Nike think thinking? Like, this is a trash colorway. Purple, pink, and lime green. They going crazy with these up tempos. They giving you way too many colors. Especially with these, man. They doing too much. They doing way too much. This is a nice little, little shoe that stands out. Some plaid with the black bottoms. These not bad. Especially if you want to stand out. Had like a matching like shirt or top or like a flannel t-shirt. You'll be killing with this, though. These orange Air Max ones is okay, but I like these way better. That's why I got these over these, but. Uh, so looking at them in hand, they're not bad. This is a nice uh, subtle colorway in the MX 95s. Black with a little bit of yellow. This could have been part of the frequency pack, but I ain't see this at all with the frequency pack. Like they just had those other three shoes, but it's not a bad colorway. Got the Nike all throughout it, as you can see. I'm, I'm probably sure it's got 3M on it. Let me turn on the flash. Yeah, it got all that 3M on there with that Nike. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm up in Foot Locker Rocker right now. You already know it ain't gonna be nothing in here when they got Vans in the glass vault. Vans and MX-95 Vapor Max joints. Or well, MX-95s, my bad. You already know it's about to be weak. Got the, the Italian flag um, up tempos. Not bad. Or if you wanted to do like a Mexican flag, you can like kind of match these up with the Mexican flag as well. But I'm not a real fan of this colorway but they are sitting here though. They got these in the glass vaults. Come on, man, come on. I feel like I can do better than that. They can put something else in here, bro. Here go to um, Adidas Ultra Boost 2.0, reflective joints. This is how they look without the flash. Let me turn on the flash right quick. With the flash flash on, it's a whole different story as you can see. Got that reflective upper, not bad, but 200 was way too much for these. Like, 
They said when they originally released, so I don't know why they uh, retro these. They go to champ championship KD uh, 11s. Not really a fan. Like I could have just made these all black, really. Like kind of like these. Like these look almost similar, but just with gold splatter. How you gonna do that, Nike? Go ahead. You should have put like a little bit extra touch on this one, man. But they go these slime, I'm green, Kyrie fours. Nice little uh, effect to it. Pretty decent. I'm not really a big fan of Kyrie Four as, as far as like colorways go, but this one not bad. I doubt I get it though. Comment down below if you ever tried these like dragon nitrogen puffs that you put in your mouth and you blow out like a dragon, like smoke. Anybody tried it? Comment down below, how do you like it? All right, back in the car. And overall, man, that was definitely a nice outlet mall. It had everything. As I said, from like a date night, or if you want to get your shopping on, you can definitely go to that mall. Definitely had a nice little selection. What did you guys think about it? Comment that down below and we can chop it up in the comment section. Also comment which shoe you thought was best as well. Hit that thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button. Takes nothing but a couple of seconds and you'll be notified of when I drop future videos. And lastly, peace.